Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion, and I'm here to share with you my very first snippet roll. Now, I don't think I totally understand the concept of a snippet roll, but um, I joined a little group where we're doing snippet roll shares. So I said, hey, this is a great time to get challenged to try and see what all these people are talking about when they make snippet rolls. Um, mine, I handmade um, my spindle using the bottoms of some ribbon and then this in the center I put a the center of aluminum foil because it's kind of thin and that way it had more room to wrap and I had no idea how long to make it um, I guess my even my understanding of what it's used for so I decorated here you see the here's the spindle and then I decorated the top of the spindle so it could sit like this straight up and I'll show it this way because that way you can see it. And then I put, um, I actually painted the pieces with um, just some um, acrylic paint actually because I have a little pink in there. I decided the pink base would give it a nice look. And then to close off my, my snippet roll, I um, put a nice handmade flower that I made on top. It's a layered flower and a big giant bling. And um, what I realized is that I think that I'm supposed to, I, although I put this ribbon on the outs, on this attached to here, like the beginning, I'm realizing that I'm thinking you're supposed to attach it over here, like onto the spindle, so that maybe you can hang it, I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. But um, either way, this is my first effort. And what I did is I took some... I took some fabric, two fabrics, one fabric was just a pink fabric, and then I got scrap laces that I had edges of, and I, this is actually the back of, the back of it, and I wanted it to be like a, t a little bit of a tattered look, but elegant tattered look, so I put some eyelet lace on the bottom of the trim because it was like a piece I took off of some place and I, I thought it was still beautiful so I could use it. And you can see the tattered pieces here because that's what I wanted. And then on the other side, I made it my front and then I sewed like tons of different types of scraps, fat, scrap laces and then I embellished it with some of my bling and things because I decided that I like the idea of making, if I'm going to use make a snippet roll like this, I wanted to put a lot of little gifts that the person can actually use. So I attached um, some things, like I, I put some of these little lace medallions, and I attached them with one of my bulb pens, my bulb charm pens. And some of the blings, I put some blings on there too, but I lightly glued them just in case they want to remove it to use it as a flower center. But really, all you have to do is um, heat it up a little bit and um, with either a blow dryer or a heat gun, and it will actually release because it is hot glue. I sewed a lot of things on, but I glued a lot of things on also. So um, here is another little charm, heart charm. If you go here, I, I glued on blings. Here, this is, um, I pinned on the bling. Here you go. There's another bling that I put on there. I put little buttons, and if she wants to reuse the buttons, I glued them on. So all you have to do um, is, like, use your hot blow, hair, hair blow dryer on high heat, and then just spray it a little bit until it releases, and the glue it'll come off the glue. And there's another one of those. I sprinkled all these things around it things some sometimes I put it on pins because I thought oh she can use that she can reuse this and then she can fill it with other things and here's another bling I placed on there and you can see as I keep on going that I put some repeated things throughout it and here's one of my hangers which is in honor of my um, Christmas ornament dresses and some more blings here's some little ballerina shoes here's a cute little charm and here's a big bling this bling I could I it's actually off a pair of earrings so I couldn't um, I didn't I didn't um, pin it on instead I glued it so again another one she can do here's another pinned one here you go here's a here's another one but it's glued on and there's a cute little crown so she's gonna be able I want her to be able to use 
Oh, here's another crown. This is smaller. There's a bigger crown, slightly bigger and smaller. She needs to be, I want her to be able to take these off and use them. Okay, and here I put a lovely button that I got from Shabby Chic Boutique. And I put another. So some of them are repeated because I wanted her to be able to, um, you know, like I said, remove them. Here's another charm. So this was my idea. I don't, you know, another bling. And again, this one is glued on. And here's a darling shoe. She wanted to go a little bit mint green. And a bling. Eiffel Tower, some more blings. So this is what I made mine look like. So it has a lot of, the, as the base, it has fabrics. And then this, I just love these. I bought a whole packet of these and they are in my boutique if you're interested in them. But I um, I just love them and I, I really want to place these in the center of my, of one of my wreaths, I think. But that's it. And here on the, the you can see what I did with this, the roll I kind of just put um, fabric and I'll show you a little bit closer about this flower because I did put another crown right here again if she wants she just needs to to blow dry that and it should be able to come off it's glued on I could I guess I could have stitched it on but I put a, a variety of different um, flowers in here this is one of my handmade flowers that I made um, with all of this technique I do have videos out on that it's a double layered one and then I also added some pre-made organza flowers this is a white one and a rose colored one a little pink satin one here and then I put in some of these little um, things I know everyone has these they are so adorable I love how they look on the projects so that's it. I hope you like my snippet roll. Um, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion if you have any questions about the items you see here or um, comments too because tell me what am I really supposed to do with the snippet roll so I now I just roll it all back up let's see I'm just rolling it all back up so she has pieces of me because um, on the snippet roll I put in doilies pieces of my appliques from my wedding dresses um, different things like that and this is actually the pink is actually the fabric I'm going to be using on the next wreath that I'm I have a, a kit on and then I'm just I just wrapping it all the way up and again if you have any questions or comments or suggestions because I know there are so many more people who are experienced with these snippet rolls maybe you can tell me what the I'm thinking I saw someone a tutorial of someone who made a different kind of a snippet roll that you could actually cut so she can cut these pieces but she also has pieces on it where that she can actually take off and then replace if she wants and um, let it look beautiful like that on her so there we go this is Liz with Crafty Devotion talk to you next time